Zerodha is a discount broker which charges one of the least brokerage fee in the market. It offers multiple options for online trading. Usually, we are afraid of opening a DMAT account by ourselves, thinking that we might make a mistake. But nowadays, the process to open a DMAT account online is fairly simple and easy. It is also very safe. A few things to know before starting the process is that Zerodha has multiple platforms which provide different services to traders and investors. For example, Kite is a platform that provides services for online trading and investing in stocks and share market, while Coin is a platform that provides access to mutual funds. In this video, we are going to show you how to open a DMAT account online with Zerodha through a step-by-step -step process. So let's begin. Before starting the account setup, we suggest you to keep these documents ready in a single folder on your screen. Also, it is required that your laptop has a webcam for in-person verification. We will talk about this later in this video. Now let's start with the account setup process. Open a browser on your laptop and type Zerodha on the search bar. Then click on Zerodha.com in the search results. Now click on sign up. Then enter your mobile number and click on continue. Now enter the 6 digit password sent to this number and click on continue. Now enter your name and email address and press continue. And then enter the 6 digit password sent to this email id and click on continue. Now you need to enter your PAN card number and date of birth on this PAN. After entering, click continue. Next, you need to pay the fees for opening the account. If you want us to make a video on the difference between equity and commodity accounts, you can comment down below. But for the scope of this video, let's select both the options. Now we are entering a UPI ID for payment but you can use a debit or credit card or net banking also for the same. Now after paying the fee, you will be redirected to a screen where you need to share your details through DigiLocker. Now enter your Aadhaar number that is connected to a mobile number that you own. After that, enter the OTP sent to this mobile number and click continue. Allow all the permissions to Zerodha for accessing all of your DigiLocker details and also share your Aadhaar details with Zerodha. Now you will need to enter your bank account details and a few of your personal information. Read and accept all the declarations towards the end of this step and click continue. Next, you have to do an in-person verification. You will need a pen and paper to write down this code. Now hold the paper with the code showing along with your face in front of the camera and click on capture. If you are satisfied with this capture, you can save this IPV. Once the IPV is done, you will be instructed to digitally sign documents using your Aadhaar. Now you will need to upload the documents that we talked about in the starting of this video. Choose a file with respect to the given field and upload it. Repeat the procedure for all the required documents like bank proof, PAN card, your signature and optionally your income proof. Once all the documents are uploaded, now is the time to e-sign them. On clicking e-sign equity, you will be asked to authorize your email address. You will receive a security code on this email. Enter the security code, then click on submit. After that, accept the declaration. 
enter your aadhar number and click on send otp the otp will be sent to the number registered with your aadhar enter this otp and click on verify you will see that your profile has been verified now you need to sign it to e sign accept the declaration and again enter your aadhar number and click on send otp enter the otp and click on verify you will see that you have successfully e signed the equity form now you have to repeat the same steps for e signing the commodity form Once you have successfully e-signed the equity and the commodity forms, you will see that you have completed the sign-up process. If you wish to view your e-signed documents, you can view them here or at any later stage on your Zerodha dashboard. Now you will have to wait for Zerodha to verify all your details, which may take up to 24 hours. You will receive an email with your login ID after the successful verification of your profile. You can use this login ID and password to log into the Kite app on your mobile or on the website on a laptop. We hope that this video was of some help to you. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want us to make a video on some other topic, you can write the topic name in the comments down below.